So it's day one of Royal Ascot and we're going to have a bit of fun with Maddie Playall from the Racing Post. We're going to have a little challenge, the three group ones, see who comes up with the most winners. So Maddie, are you ready to go? Yep, all for it, let's go. Queen Anne, rhododendron for us. We think that she was just left a little bit with no company, the final furlong at Newbury. She's had to hit the front, go hard herself. She's beat Lightning Spear, who's better fresh, so I can't see that reversing the form. Rhododendron for us, and three of the last eight Lockings winners have come on and won the Queen Anne. Mm, that's a daunting start, but I think Rhododendron, you know, Lightning Spear's been around at this level for a long time, and he's yet to win a race like this. So uh, I'm going to side with a bit of a dark horse in Recoletos. Um, he's unbeaten in his two starts this year when he's been stepped back down in trip. He ran a massive race in the Champion Stakes last year behind Cracksman. That's really top form. His jockey, Olivier Pellier, um, issued a really positive bulletin on him, saying he's a totally different horse than he used to be. And I think uh, this French horse has got really good turn of foot and he can make it pay. Nice one. King Stan Stakes next, the Sprinters. And we're going with Lady Aurelia, the American mare. She got the better of Batash in the num Fulp at York last year. She runs Ascot so much better. Ignore the prep run. That was just literally to get her ready for Royal Ascot. Um, Batash, the, the form of the yards, a little bit of a concern. Charlie Hill's not been in good form at the moment. So it's Lady Aurelia quite confidently for that. Yeah, I see the angle, um, but it will be Batash for me. I just think Charlie Hills is an absolute master with these sprinters, and this is a horse that's calming down all the time. Um, he lost his head a bit in the stalls at York um, last season, so you can forgive him that, and he did really well to win the Temple Stakes last time. Yeah. Um, he started slowly, and he had to overcome quite a lot. Um, so I think Batash, yeah, he's the only horse really at peak who can give Lady Aurelia a run for her money, and as you say, she was beaten in a prep run and now doesn't have the weight allowed, so maybe he can do it. And finally, on to the St James Palace. We're going for Romanised, impressive winner of the Irish 2000 Guineas. We're firm believers if that was a... Bally Doyle or Aidan O'Brien sort winning that race. This would be a lot shorter than it is. Could be around the five to one mark. Romanized, very impressive. Without parole, looks like going off favourite. Has that done enough? It's only one enlisted company. Is it that short because it's trained by John Gosden? Romanized for us, a confident selection in the St James Palace Stakes. Yeah, I quite like Romanized, but again, I'm going to side with a French horse in Wooten. Um, he beat the French 2000 Guineas winner on Major on his first start of the season. Then in that French 2000 Guineas, things went absolutely horrifically wrong for him. Totally put a line through that. Um, this horse is really classy. He's got an excellent turn of foot and um, I think he should be at home on the ground. I think he can run a really big race. Well, that's it. Let's see who comes out on top then. Three group ones on the first day. What a way to get underway at Royal Ascot on the Tuesday. Let's see who comes out on top. Don't forget to follow myracing.com all week for the best previews and analysis and enjoy your week.